Hey everyone, Valdestot here, and on today's video, as promised, I'm going to be explaining what has been going on, what kind of content we're going to start creating, and the future of the channel based on what our direction is going to be going forward. And this was an eye-opening experience. It really was. Because, as you know, I said it before in previous videos that I started the July 31st day of rest because I've seen a lot of YouTubers and a lot of commenters basically saying that it's getting so bad, not only because of the summer slowdown, but because DoorDash's pay has been lowered, that constant you know, transparency issues of us not being able to see what the actual pay is. You know, uh, the Para app being, you know, nerfed. And so I said, you know what? Someone's got to take a stand. And I felt that just showing some solidarity, solidarity would be a perfect first step in showing that they can't just keep pushing drivers around. We are independent contractors, I get it. And we're not employees, and I get that. But the level of contempt or ignorance of a lot of these selfish people just opened my eyes. I mean, it's gotten to the point where they're basically going against their own self-interests. I mean, it really is. Think of it. It's a simple day off. And here are the top comments that I'm going to basically, from memory, reiterate to all of you, okay? And, and by the way, I am not dashing at the moment. I have no internet at the house. So, and where we live, I have to kind of drive away to a more stable signal area in order to send this video. So, anyway... The top comments literally are as follows. Nothing's going to change because, you know, unless we get full support. I even said all we need is about 50% support. And other people were literally saying that, oh, yeah, that's still not going to work because they're just going to put peak pay on. Or, hey, guess what? If you, all you idiots that take the day off, well, I'm going to go out there and work and make money. You know, it's comments like these, there's no wonder that we can't get anything done. Literally. Some selfish idiots out there, they're only thinking in the here and now and not going forward. Now, I know DoorDash has to make money. I get that. But they also could be doing different things to help everyone involved. And it's not just DoorDash. I know it's Grubhub and Uber Eats too. Don't get me wrong. But someplace, somewhere, people have to start taking a stand and forcing these companies to start doing the right thing. Like maybe increasing costs. As it should be because we are a premium service or else they would customers would be getting it themselves. The bottom line is this. Pay has been going down and transparency has been getting worse. And based off Pedro's video that I watched recently, they're doing a test market where they're doing $10 an hour with no information to uh, customer location or wait time or anything. I mean, this is getting terrible. Yet, there will always be those drivers out there that are either too selfish or too ignorant to know that, oh yeah, Here's another comment. Well, you can always just accept or reject all orders. Well, no kidding. Or if you don't like it, the old standby, quit. I mean, I mean, yeah, we know this, guys. But we're trying to make a difference here for everyone's benefit. So based on the polls that I've been reading, literally, it's like 20 to 25% says yes. About 50% didn't even know, no, about 30% from what I read didn't know, and like 57, 55% said that they would not take the day off. And it's not like 
I said before, take the day off from all the gig apps. I said just take the day off from DoorDash in unison for one day to at least show that, hey, there will be consequences if you keep pulling this crap. But again, everyone has a right to do what they want to do, but they are really being short-sighted in this, and that's just my opinion. Now, based on this evidence, okay, if July 31st doesn't do anything like a lot of the detractors say, fine, it doesn't. But at least it would have showed that if we had enough drivers, hey, there's enough drivers that will take a stand against you. Whether DoorDash cares or not, who knows? But at least it would have done something for unity. That was the whole point of all this. Now, as far as it goes, here's the other news. One of the other reasons that I stopped doing a whole bunch of videos wasn't because I hit the one subscriber count, but because I saw the direction that DoorDash, who is number one in my market, is going. They hired a whole bunch of new drivers, just like everyone else's, right? Every other market. And I see all these new drivers just flooding our market and they don't know any better. And that's DoorDash's MO. They want all the veteran drivers out and all the new people in so that they'll start taking all these $2, $2.50 crap offers regardless of mileage. And this prompted me to say, you know what? I'm done with DoorDash. I am literally done. I'll just stick with Grubhub and Uber Eats and get a part-time W-2 job for pay stability. Now, I said part-time and here's why. As I said before, we don't need the money. We just sold our house at a huge profit. We literally have over six, not over, but we are over six figures, right? I'm not going to say exactly how much, but in our combined savings account, checking accounts, stock accounts, 401k accounts, because we worked at Amazon and Blue Cross in the past. We have over six figures, but under seven figures. Take my word for it, okay? I could show you. I could take screenshots for all those people that really want to know, but I have never once lied to you all. We don't need the money. You saw the house we just moved into. We have zero expenses except a car payment right now. Zero. The house is fully paid for what we moved into. Fully paid. We have a car payment of $220 because we put $10,000 down on a $20,000 vehicle, 19 and change. So, yeah, our only expenses are food, vehicle, gas, insurance, and dental, and, you know, the, the stuff, I mean, our expenses are at the bare minimum. To survive, we only need less than $1,000. And we both work, and we do part-time gig work with Grubhub and Uber Eats now. So, yeah, we don't need the money. But we did this to help drivers. You are, were, were, are and will always be our primary concern. Why do you think I give free money away? Why do you think I've been doing lottery tickets to hopefully hit it big for to share with everyone? Everything we have done was for you guys, the channel community, and for drivers in general. I've always said I wanted to become like a Mr. Beast type of channel, okay? He's a good dude, okay? What other YouTuber out there gives away almost all of his money? Well, yeah, he gets tax benefits and he has, you know, he basically has the house he wants, cars he wants, all that. But once you get to that level of making millions of dollars a month, you can afford to give that away. Now, I will never attain that level, obviously, like he has, because he's also an entertainer. But the fact remains, I want to give back to the community. I want to give back. So, 
This is the direction the channel is going to go in now. The channel is going to literally be a customer-centric DoorDash channel because I'm going to basically make a slew of videos exposing the hypocrisy, not just from the driver perspective, like I said, quitting DoorDash, not doing it no more as a driver. But I will start sharing thoughts on the customer side of DoorDash to freaking wake customers up so it'll help drivers. And you will see videos detailing this. Now, as far as gig news information, I will do those segments. Anytime new something newsworthy comes on, I will pass that along to you. Anything Grubhub Uber Eats related, I will, you know, as a, from a driver and customer perspective, I will release that to you. But as far as tips and tricks, the hustle and bustle, the, you know, the, the uh, multi-apping stuff, it's pointless. It really is. There's too many channels that already covers it. Secondly, other gigger, gig YouTubers have said it before, as soon as you put out the tips and tricks, guess who's watching? The detractors say, yeah, nothing we do matters because guess what? They're just going to change and adjust to our new tactics. So, yeah, what's the point? I can tell you mileage, but then guess what DoorDash did? Lowered base pays for mileage. The lower distance, uh, lower, uh, distance offers, right? Don't take any offer over five miles. They nerfed the mileage pay. Don't take anything over a certain distance. Well, guess what, folks? What has DoorDash done? Increased distances. Sure, you get more pay, but at what cost? You're killing your car. So what does DoorDash do when we fight back? They hire more drivers to take the crap orders that we won't. There is no literal point of telling you what to do for the tips and tricks, even for the new drivers, because they're just going to compensate and you know, basically retaliate us from our tips and tricks. They're going to basically say, you're going to do this? Well, we're going to do this against you. So our tactics literally went out the window a month later. So this is why I wanted to bring this out. I'm going to be doing more videos on charitable stuff. The next video I'm going to actually put out will be a challenge that will help drivers get money from me by doing charitable work while you're dashing or you're delivery driving for Grubhub or Uber Eats. I want to help you help yourselves by, by making a little extra cash for me, but by helping the driver community out there for the people that are selfless and want to make things better in your local area. Because God knows, trying to do it on a national level did not work based off of the level of vitriol and the level of comments, negative comments, that basically said, well, I'm just not going to do it because I'm selfish. I'm going to make money off of you making a stand. So, yeah. I stopped caring about the tips and tricks, folks. You're not going to see any more of those types of videos, unfortunately. But I will still be a philanthropic channel. And I will still show information based on non-DoorDash and from the customer side of things. So it'll help drivers out in that way. So hopefully you all understand where I'm coming from. Uh, still will be doing the weekly giveaways, may do some, you know, uh, gift cards. We'll definitely give out special prizes and cash, um, but it's going to be in a philanthropic way for those of you that want to participate. So if you have any questions or comments, leave it below. Hopefully you all understand where I'm coming from. But yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Mrs. Valistat's not going anywhere. But I have a part-time W-2 job as a hotel, you know, a staff employee just to, you know, basically just piddle around 
definitely don't need the money, but why would we want to burn through our hard-earned savings and investments and all that? We, In order to be successful, you have to have positive income and zero expenses. We want to build a house one day, probably in the next five to ten years, and pay cash for it. Versus this house being really nice. It's an older home. It's older than our other home, but it's bigger. But who knows what the future holds, right? I hope to one day have at least a million dollars in our account within the next five to ten years. So we got to work hard for it, but gig apping is not the way unless you really want to be used and abused on yourself and on your car getting there. So for those of you that basically say, screw me, okay, you guys can be full timers and just do what you need to do, fine, so be it. But I'm gonna do things my way, work smarter, not harder, like Coach, yeah, get Coach Jake did. I'm going to cherry pick the hell out of Grubhub and Uber Eats. I'm not gonna support DoorDash no more because I don't believe in them. And with the part-time job I have with the, you know, the W-2, I'm gonna make steady income and, and have benefits. So that's pretty much it, what's going on. Hopefully you all understand. And uh, if I lose you as a subscriber, I apologize. But, you know, this is the way it's going to be. So if you want to stick around and see what kind of content I'm going to be producing forward, I fully encourage you to because I think you're going to like the direction that we are going. So take care, everyone, and we'll talk to you later.